So I've got my SEC 301 exam early tomorrow in the morning, right around 7 a.m. And I figured I'd just take you guys along on really this last workbook that I need to go ahead and index because as you may or may not know, the GAIA exams are actually open notes, open books. So I'm gonna show you how to properly index uh, one of these study materials. So last month we of course went ahead and obtained our GAIAC foundational cybersecurity technologies, as you can see here, uh, beautiful certificate that came in the mail. Definitely. I love to get those need to get a frame for this, but again, put that to the side and get back to the task at hand. Um, so there's five workbooks again, delivered the on demand course and took that and got a lot of great knowledge exposure to not only the, the words, the knowledge, et cetera, et cetera, but also the hands-on practice lab and learn quite a lot that I've been itching to get. And so excited to actually go further in my studies here. Um, but each of these, of course, these companion workbooks um, discuss various topics, starting with cybersecurity foundations. Again, just exposure to the basic principles and elements there. Then again, getting into cryptography, which is something that I've always wanted. I won't say master because, I mean, as soon as you say that, Folks are going to come at you, but something that I've always really, really wanted to dive a little bit below the skin. And next up was authentication, authorization and networking. And that being as a network architect, that's right up my alley, but enjoyed the labs there. Wireless security, network attacks and malware, some good stuff here. And then, of course, tonight we're going to be indexing um, the information here, cybersecurity technologies and web security. So again, let's go ahead and get to it. What's up? So uh, we did that probably less than 10 minutes, probably about seven or eight minutes. And again, I'm going to go over really what this all means and break it down. Um, but to me, again, without Googling it or anything like that, indexing with this being open book is really for me a way of like starting with identification, just identifying. Well, let me go back one. You I think a person should, of course, at least myself know the content, like not try to rush through the labs, the books. Um, so you should at least be 60 to 70 cent proficient um, in the topics and things like that. And so it's not to say that this will bridge the gap, but you should kind of know like um, within each of these five books, once you categorize or color code it, um, this is what we're going to use this for. So again, getting back to what I was getting ready to say, identification is really just identifying the information that's why this was so quick. It wasn't trying to like get into the minutia and detail of what's inside of this. Again, that comes through the studying and the preparation. So it's just identifying headers, key concepts and things like that. I'm on a page. And for me, it's in case I see a question and there's like something that I know that's in the book. It's nothing that I'm certain, certain about. It's asking for a specific value or something like that. Um, then I already have the columns here um, for me, the item column C there. This is what I think the identification would be. Comments is a part that a lot of folks don't even add this column. Um, I think if folks that are studying have two, three, four hundred rows, then yes, um, that may be overkill. Um, and categorization is a combination of color coding this again, um, the tabs that are up top. And again, this red color, we're probably going to have to do something with this for section five probably change it up, but we don't have as many uh, different colors here with the sticky notes. So we'll have to figure that out. I'll change it here just to make it easier on the eyes, but a combination of that along with this column so that when we sort it, um, it's a way to be able to uh, quickly know where to go without spending 30 seconds scanning the book. There is no table of contents in here. So um, we'll see how that looks here shortly. And for me, I think the more I think about it, it's going this one's going to be probably 
probably two ways of sorting it. So this one, well, we'll, we'll go ahead and copy this one here. We'll go A to E. We'll take that, we'll duplicate that, and we'll say, although sometimes I keep an original one, but we can remove filters to do that. Actually, we'll do that just to make it easier. And I'll show you here in a bit. All right, so this one, we'll just name this tab, uh, rename this. This will just be original. And then here, what we're gonna do um, to sort this is we will um, we will pick all the rows by selecting that cell there. We'll go to sort and filter. And really, we'll just do custom sort. And we'll go sort by item. And then we'll go right back here, custom sort. And then we'll add a level underneath that and we'll do section A to Z is fine. And sort blah, blah, blah. No worries there. Actually, uh, some is summer text, summer numbers. Gotcha. So it doesn't like that. But here, if we were to print this out, like let's say um, what I'm going to do later tonight, if we come to print and we change this to landscape what we'll see here without doing any more tweaks this would be four pages um but this again is number up top but this is now across all five books basically um alphabetical size not a real word but it's put in alphabetical order of the category and then based on the color we're gonna have to know that hey if i'm looking for something five phases actually that's a tag i'll change that then I'm just looking at that tab, the color there. Then I open it up to, let's see, page 53. And then, of course, we'll see the five phases of attack there. So it's real quick, real handy. Um, all truth aside, I didn't use indexing on the first test. Um, and I think I got a 91, but... Um, this one's a little bit different and from here going forward definitely we'll take advantage of indexing and then if we were to go back uh, let's see what this looks like well it's already in order I probably just keep this original one forget that second way I was thinking about but no this looks good I think actually we're just gonna roll with this I mean again this isn't that long I'm 98 rows discounting the top header and I think we got everything here so I'm gonna print this off I don't even think I'm gonna mess with it and like I said not really gonna study too much um, ready and prep for this um, they had great 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 labs um, to validate really a lot of the the textbook type knowledge that was read so um, Definitely looking forward for this tomorrow. Like I said, I know I flew, flew through this one. And like I said, hopefully this one can be a little bit more crisp. Um, wish me good luck in the morning. I'll share those results probably in either shorts or um, a post. But like I said, ever since I enrolled in Sands Institute early August, I've been pretty static and um, overwhelmed at just the sheer volume. I mean, even getting ready to net wars, um, like I said, just learning a lot of this concept, but always was interested in pen testing. Um, but to do some of this, um, it's NSA type. So they say um, code challenges and things like that. Even though I know very, very little, it's what, you know, for the last 15-ish years, I've always wanted to do. And I think I'm at that point in my life where um, we got to relish time, but we also have to try to take advantage of opportunities that are placed in front of us. So for me, um, trying to see where I want to fit into the cybersecurity world, um, already, of course, on the network, firewall side, cloud as well, um, to see where we can leave our mark in, like we said, pass that knowledge once we gain it. So I'll share a little bit of just um, my story. Um, like I said, the channel is probably going to pivot a little bit more towards the security side here going forward. But 
um, as I pursue this over the next year and a half. But definitely excited. I know I've been rambling. This isn't your typical Network Your Future video. Um, so apologies here. But you guys know I try not to just do over editing and just get to talking. If I stumble over my words, uh, let it be. Um, but like I said, super, super excited and for what's to come as well as for just continuing. Hopefully, well, we won't say hopefully we'll speak into existence, um, passing this exam in the morning, just continuing on towards the next course. So, again, thank you all so, so much for hanging in here with me today. And again, until next time, stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Peace.